Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Larissa G back with another video. Yes guys, thank you so much for clicking in. I really appreciate you. Please, if you are new here, my name is Lobisa. I'm a mom of four and I'm a wife to a Ghanaian husband and I'm a South African living in the United States. Feel free to subscribe and hit the, the bell. Please share the videos and make sure to comment down below. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I restore my vacuum cleaner to avoid buying a new one. So to make sure that it still works perfectly well, I can still service it by myself, even though it's a little bit old, but I'm telling you, I have used this vacuum cleaner so many times and it works perfect after being restored. So today I have the bag, which I'm gonna be put, refreshing and putting a new one. You can buy get this at Walmart. So my vacuum cleaner is power force bristle and I've had it for almost three years. So I usually will change the bags and all that. So we're gonna open it. So as you can see inside this bag, I think I did reuse it for the second time. That's why you see it crunched and all that. So I'm gonna take it out just to show you how nasty this is. So this is how it looks like. So let me put it back because I want to show you the places that I'll be checking. I'm going to change the bag. I'm going to pull up my pipe. You see why it's blocked up? This is blocked up. As you can see, all the stuff coming up is because it's blocked somehow. So it can't take the dirt anymore. You see? So sometimes, as you can see, this was the main problem so sometimes when it does that you will think that the vacuum cleaner is old it doesn't work anymore or you can't you can throw it away no man you can still restore it and make it work so all the stuff couldn't go back they couldn't go down the the cleaner because of it was clogged up so this i do it Mostly when I realize that my vacuum cleaner is, um, is not picking up the trash, that's when I do this. So I'm going to take this out just to make sure that inside it's, yeah, it seems like inside is clear. When you stretch this whole thing, you are able to see the inside to know if there's anything sitting somewhere. So when you stretch it, it becomes a little bit clear. You are able to see if there's something clogging. So that's what I'm doing right now, just to make sure, definitely there's nothing in there. So I'm going to put this right here. So I'm going to look in here because I believe it's something. I want to see if I can use this. Okay. Yeah, there's stuff in there that I'm unable to get. So I'm going to take the bag out, put it down right here, and I'm going to turn it upside down a little bit just to see if there's anything that will come up. There's still some stuff. Let's try again. So after that, I still need to poke and take out all that. So guys, looking into this tube, I can see that the uh, stuff that is stuck in there. So for that, I'm going to take my hanger, my wire hanger, then I'm going to try and dislocate it so that I can use it to pull those things out. So this, you might need help to do it. If you're like me, you can do it. So make sure when you are doing this also, you can also wear your gloves if you, you don't mind being dirty. Or you can always put a mask because the dust that comes out of this might cause you to cough. So right now, I have our hand that looks like. So I'm going to try and drag all the stuff that is in here. If we possibly can. 
As you can see, my kids spoke on the camera. We're just going to stir it up so we can turn it up. So I'm still going to stir it again because there's still some more stuff in there that need to be dragged out. It takes a lot of patience you guys to do this. That's why I'm saying that you should wear your mask and you should put gloves if you, f you don't feel comfortable doing this without gloves. I think we're going to go one more time and then it should be looking better. So it seems like there's more than I expected. And these are all the things that will clog your the trash that will clog your your vacuum and you will think that oh it's time for a new one. No man, you're not buying a new one. We're gonna fix this. You can see it's still a lot in there. So right now I can see inside the main and I'm excited about this whole thing. And I'm still gonna make sure. Alright, right now it's good. So after this, I'm gonna just get a dustpan and a broom. So guys, some of the things that can make you think your vacuum cleaner is not working, it might be if you have girls, you know, you braid hair and stuff, it might be this hair piece right here. So we're going to go into this one and get the hair piece out. Cut it off. Because this can cause the brushes not to do their work because they are tied up.
and see how it sounds like all right thank you guys let's go wow that sounds so good So my film sounds really good. It's ready to work. It's ready to keep your house clean. Don't throw it away. You can still fix it. I'm glad if you are, you have enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Make sure you share this video to your friends, your family, so that they cannot waste on their vacuum. See you in my next one. Bye.